Ukraine has carried out a deep strike against Russian ammunition and logistical depots in central Crimea. The stealth characteristics of Storm Shadow air-launched cruise missiles allow them to interdict targets in heavily defended airspace. Reportedly, also, several drones were involved. The hit was on a fleet ammunition depot, and railway connection were in Oktyabrsko. Judging by the footage and reports of eyewitnesses, strikes in Crimea today were carried in the Krasnogvardaisky district and an abandoned airfield nearby, which Russian troops began to use to place equipment and ammunition. The Crimean Atesh partisan movement reported a month ago that the Russian armed forces were transporting about 40, 50 infantry fighting vehicles, Kamaz trucks, and Tiger armored vehicles to this airfield. The oil depot, in turn, adjoins the railway. The strikes on warehouses and oil depots was confirmed by the Strategic Communications Department of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The occupation authorities of Crimea announced the evacuation of residents in a five-kilometer zone from the site of an explosion of ammunition, while traffic was briefly halted on the Kerch Strait Bridge as well as the Crimean Railway. It turns out that the armed forces of Ukraine almost liquidated another main occupier yesterday. State Duma deputy and ex-head of the Council of Ministers of the DPR, Alexander Borodai. The car in which he was moving on the southern flank of the Bakhmut group of invaders was fired upon by a tank of the armed forces of Ukraine from a distance of three kilometers on a section of the road that was being shot through. As a result, fragments damaged the car. Two officers of one of the occupying brigades were injured too. Next time. Yet another mysterious death of a top manager in Russia. Anton Cherepenikov, owner of Russian IKS Holding, died. He was 40 years old. The preliminary cause of death, according to official sources, was a heart stop. Cherepenikov's IKS Holding is the largest company in Russia in the area of informational security and operative investigative systems, more commonly known as wiretapping. His company has been serving Russian law enforcement structures and controlled by them for a long time. It executed a lot of measures connected to Yarovaya law, requiring internet and telephone companies to disclose private communications and data of their users. Sherepenikov took part in developing a face ID system in Moscow. In 2023, Sherepenikov and IKS Holding were sanctioned. We called Poland ridiculous. That's all in the distant past. Not true anymore. Poland is a big, serious military power now. Russian Mardan presents a new rhetoric on the Russian propaganda agenda. Поэтому наш враг находится на западной границе Беларуси. Поэтому Путин об этом так подробно снова говорил о том, что нападение на Белоруссию означает нападение на Россию. Ну, если хотите, это такое отзеркаливание пятого, пятой графы устава североатлантического блока. Удивительно, до чего мы дожили. То есть об этом нужно говорить вслух, причем вроде бы как говорить Польше, той самой смешной Польше, которая курица не птица, Польша не за граница. Но это все в далеком прошлом, это теперь не так. Польша это довольно серьезная, довольно большая военная держава, которая там невероятным форсированным образом наращивает свой военный бюджет, свой военный потенциал. Она двухкратно увеличивает армию. Она закупила 1200 новых танков. Польские солдаты, польский спецназ, те, кого мы называем польскими наемниками, тысячи человек воюют на Украине. То есть, помимо всего, помимо всего прочего, приобретая боевой опыт. Они приобретают боевой опыт в войне со своим завтрашним врагом, то есть с нами. Activists of Russian National Liberation Movement protest in Moscow near the U.S. Embassy building. They chant, to answer for Crimean Bridge, USA to tribunal. The Russian Volunteer Corps announced the debugging of the procedure for the official arrival of volunteers in Ukraine and showed footage of the arrival of new volunteers. New RVC volunteers have arrived in Ukraine. The guys are cheerful, charged to fight and, of course, to win. 
The agonizing wait in a foreign land has come to an end, and our new recruits are already on their way to the capital of Ukraine to soon be on a par with the RVC veterans. The message on the official channel of the Corps reads. Separately, it is noted that the RVC is now independently involved in the procedure for the importation of new volunteers, so the process of official arrival has been debugged. We remind you that you can legally enter Ukraine and become a RVC fighter only through our communication channels. Don't try to enter the country on your own, and don't use the services of political swindlers. If you are a citizen of the Russian Federation, you are ashamed of what the Putin gang is doing, and you are not ready to put up with it. Contact the representatives of the RVC or the Legion Freedom of Russia on their official channels. They will help you start the fight against the Kremlin regime. A dog is having a panic attack during a Russian missile strike on Odessa. The dog and its owners are sitting in the hallway. It is considered to be a safer place during attacks to stay between two solid walls, far from windows. Many Ukrainians and their pets have spent countless hours in their hallways since the full-scale invasion began. Ну, все, 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 все. Все, все. Тихо, тихо. Зайка моя. Не надо. Все, все, все. Тихо. Да, да, да. Боялась, боялась. И я боялась. И я боялась. Стучит. This is what we're fighting for. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.